Hey everyone, it's Mr. Persnickety back with another review and comparison of three different ski and alpine gloves uh, that I have uh, and I've used. Um, and you may think about adding to your arsenal of gloves uh, in the upcoming winter season. Um, so we have the two of these are outdoor research. We have the outdoor research. Uh, men's high camp three finger gloves um, and then in the middle here I have the mountain hardware boundary ridge Gore-Tex gloves and then on the left I have again the outdoor research Alti mitt um, let's talk about the features of each of these three gloves uh, starting first with the uh, the high camp glove um, the, one of the biggest features of this one is the three finger nature of it. I think I've just a, become a huge fan of three finger gloves after having used this because it's the best of both worlds of these two. You get a lot of dexterity uh, that you would normally get with a normal five finger glove, but you also get a lot of the warmth that you get out of a mitt. Um, and I can actually take my index finger and shove it into this pocket here to basically treat this glove like a mitt. Um, so the three finger is uh, very versatile, uh, very great design uh, in my opinion, um, and that's one of the biggest features of this one. It is kind of the lower end of these two in terms of cost and, and features, um, but that's a big feature. The other feature that I like is the removable and a touchscreen compatible liner that it comes with. Um, and so that's a great benefit that you get. In addition to this you know, warm outer shell glove, you can get a liner that you can either add or use this on its own if you're going on a, you know, a fall or spring type hike where it might be warmer out. Um, so that's the features of the high camp. Uh, the Boundary Ridge Glove is chock full of features. Uh, it's basically all features. It has a uh, Gore-Tex liner, petards, goat leather uh, throughout uh, the, the hand area for ultimate water protection as well as durability. Um, it has Primaloft gold insulation. It has that, it has great dexterity that you would expect with a five finger glove, but it really excels um, in its dexterity. It also has touchscreen compatibility on the outer portion of the glove. Uh, in my opinion, it has a great wrist strap, uh, which is kind of one of those underlooked or not often looked at features, a lot better than the outdoor research gloves. Super comfortable wrist strap. Uh, it's just a well-designed glove um, with the highest quality materials basically that you could find. Um, and same goes for the Ultimate. It's very similar in terms of uh, very high quality materials. You've got Gore-Tex again. Uh, you have Primaloft. Well, actually, I'm not sure if this is Primaloft. It, it, it has a lot of insulation, that's for sure. Uh, and it does have the Petard's goat leather on the inside of it as well. Um, and then similar to the High Camp, it has, again, uh, the wrist strap. Um, but it also has a removable mitt liner which has a ton of insulation in it my hand is getting hot just sitting here uh, with this liner on only so there's some amount of insulation in this liner which is great and then there's a smaller amount in the glove itself so really versatile again in terms of a mitt in that you can have it be ultra warm if you wear it with the, the liner and the outer shell or you can have it be moderately warm if you just want to use the mitt on its own without a liner. Um, so that's the Alti mitt. Uh, let's talk about the fit and comfort of these guys. Um, we'll start first with the high camp. As soon as I put this guy back in. There's Velcro in here by the way. That's how it, the mitt stays in. You can hear it's scratching in there. Um, fit of this guy, great. Uh, I followed the sizing guide on Outdoor Research's website. Uh, fits great, it has a nice fleece lining, uh, plenty of room for that liner glove if you want to use it or if you don't want to use it. Uh, it still fits pretty well and you have a wrist uh, cinch there to hold the glove in place. That's great for that one. Um, the fit on the Boundary Ridge is really what kills it for me. Um, I size out according to 
uh, Mountain Hardware's website, I size as a medium. And the only glove that fits me for the Boundary Ridge is a size extra large. So I'm two sizes off in terms of what it should be versus what actually fits. Um, so not sure what happened there. Once I have the glove on, uh, it's super comfortable, uh, really high quality fleece lining on the inside. Uh, just feels great to, to have the glove on um, and fits well for me. It has loosened up a little over time. So it started out a little stiff and a little tight and it's gotten better as I've worn it more and more. So that's a benefit of that for sure. Um, the Ultimate, similar, same brand, same sizing, medium fits great for me. Um, has a wrist or a, well, it's really a forearm cinch because this gauntlet is so long. Um, but uh, that's kind of the downside of the Ultimate for me personally, it fits well if I have the, the full mitt on, but if I take that liner out, and don't use the liner, uh, there's no wrist cinch here to button down and hold the glove on. So it's always, it feels a little loose, um, which is to be expected, but I think that could definitely be solved with just a wrist cinch to hold that glove in place. I can always do that and then I'm not worried about it falling off, but it just feels a little unstable in terms of moving front and back. Um, so a wrist cinch would have helped there, but again, that's definitely a small thing. Um, I could even just put a rubber band and that would probably solve it. Um, and that's really only an issue when I'm not using that liner glove. So um, those are the fit of these guys. Uh, let's talk about the warmth. I think the, uh, I think in terms of warmth, it's difficult to compare because these are all three different gloves. You have a mitt, a five finger, and a three finger. I think this guy is, well, I'll start with the obvious. There's no question that this is the warmest glove I've ever worn. It is extremely warm. I've tried to wear it down in 10 degree temperatures, negative wind chills, very cold conditions, in my opinion and I still find it to be too hot. <laughs> this is just a really warm, really well insulated glove. If you are in negative degree temperatures or you uh, always have cold hands, uh, give this one a test because this might just keep you warm. This is a super warm glove and I honestly haven't been able to wear it as much as I'd like because the temperatures aren't just aren't cold enough to, uh, if I put my hands in and they just start sweating. So. Even with the glove removed, I've taken, with the liner removed, I've taken this down to, you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, zero degrees with the wind chill, and been totally comfortable. Um, and, you know, they say this is built for 8,000 meter peaks for the Mount Everest and the Himalaya. I would believe that. Um, so, by far and away, this is the warmest. If we compare these two, um, you would expect this one to be the warmest just because of the high quality of materials, but I think it's limited by the five finger design. I found that the three finger design is actually warmer for me personally, and that's just because I can group my hands together, I can retain the heat by, uh, by conduction, by holding my fingers in a ball all together. Like I said, I can, I can put all my fingers in this one glove so that I'm getting extra heat there. Um, that's not to say that this glove is not warm, Again, I've had this down to uh, about, I don't know, 25 degrees or so Fahrenheit um, and still been comfortable. Um, and the nice thing about this glove is if my hands, if my fingers do get cold, I can always kind of pull this back and bunch it up and ball it up within the, the, the palm area and warm them up that way and then put them back in when I need that dexterity again. So. Um, in terms of five finger gloves, these are the warmest I've worn, um, but you're limited just because it's a five finger glove. You're still probably going to get more warmth out of a three finger or definitely a mitt than you would out of a regular five finger glove. Um, but really happy with the warmth of all three of these gloves, I'll say. I wish I could use this one more, it, I just it's not cold enough for me. This is an all around workhorse, works well in a ton of different conditions. This guy, I wouldn't take it out in really cold conditions, but when you're 95% uh, of the time it works well. And especially if I was doing something where dexterity was required, 
uh, this would be my go-to for sure. Uh, in terms of waterproofness, I haven't had any issues. These are both Gore-Tex, um, and the leather obviously helps out a lot with water beating up and off of the glove. Um, so both of these have been really good. This guy has served me well as, as well. Sometimes I get issues with, I think, water kind of impeding from the outside in and then making the tips of the glove uh, a little wet. Um, but I think that's mostly user error as opposed to the glove itself failing. Um, but, uh, so yeah, no issues in terms of the waterproof. I have uh, had to reapply DWR to, to all of these or uh, wax to the leather as well. So, you know, they require some upkeep. If you don't do anything to them, they're going to lose performance over time. So I'd highly recommend investing in some, some DWR that you can apply or some wax for the leather. Uh, it'll just keep them healthy, strong, and, and still waterproof uh, for all the, the materials that are used in these gloves. A uh, quick overview again of the of the cons that I found. Uh, I don't think I actually touched on the cons with this one. Um, one thing I'm concerned about when it comes to the high camp is the durability. So the inside of the glove, I can feel the, the fleece is starting to, to peel a little. It's starting to come off a little. And then I guess it's not on this one. It must be on the other glove. Has, uh, it's just got a little bit of fraying in that... Uh, in that index finger area. Again, it, it functions totally fine and I've had it for, for a full season um, and put it through the ringer and it's working well. It's just, when you see those things starting, you never know how they're gonna progress. So uh, durability is definitely of interest to me. I would not say it's an issue right now. Uh, and then with both this glove as well as the high camp glove, I do not like the wrist strap on these guys. They just they, they have this sort of cinching design where you just push that close, but it just doesn't feel super stable to me. I'm always worried that it's it's uh, slowly undoing itself as I'm taking my glove off. And so the, the cinch design on the wrist strap is, is not my favorite from outdoor research. I've had other gloves from them that do not have that. Um, and especially on this Alti mitt, you know, honestly, I expected something a little better than, than this sort of design. This just feels a little cheap to me, to be honest. Um, and this one, yeah, this guy un undoes really easily. So that's definitely nitpicky. Uh, can, you know, complaining about a wrist, a wrist guard or wrist strap or an idiot cord, whatever you want to call it. Um, but those are definitely downsides of the OR gloves. Um, whereas the Mountain Hardware has this nice elastic strap that just I can feel it, but it's not too tight. It fits comfortably, um, so that's a benefit of that one. Um, the downside of the Mountain Hardware glove, as I already mentioned, is one, the fit. Uh, it's kind of a guess and check to get that right. I, I sized as a medium and the extra large fits, so uh, do with that what you will. Um, the other downside I found with this glove is it's difficult to bend your fingers. And keep them bent. So if you were a skier or had ski poles, uh, I don't think this is the glove for you just because it takes a lot of force and kind of scrunches your 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 knuckles to to keep your fingers bent if you were going to hold on to a ski pole or something like that. I don't think uh, anything like an ice axe would be as big of an issue because it's a larger diameter and you're holding it differently. Um, but definitely ski poles or trekking poles are a bit of an issue when you're uh, when you're working to, to keep your hand closed. Um, and that's just because there's insulation here and you have full leather up here. So you're kind of stretching the leather, you're trying to pull the leather. Um, and uh, you're also kind of compressing the insulation down low. So uh, it really, it's just a design flaw and it's a definite downside of, of the, uh, the Boundary Ridge glove. Um, downsides of the Alti, I wish I could say, but I haven't gotten to wear it enough. Uh, downside is maybe it's too warm for most everybody uh, that would be interested in it unless you're really going on super cold days uh, or climbing really high peaks. Um, I, I haven't found anything wrong with it thus far other than that small wrist strap um, and maybe if you do take this liner out, you know, I thought this maybe would be a little more versatile in terms of like, oh yeah, I could wear it as a mitt. 
uh, without this liner. Um, but I found that you know this really fit this work. This glove works the best when these guys are together. When it's not together, it's a little loose. It just feels a little, you know, like I'm kind of just wearing a big sock on my hand or something. So um, that's I guess one of the downsides, but still definitely the warmest glove I've ever put on my hands. That's for sure. Uh, so to wrap things up, uh, if you're thinking, of, if you're in the market for a new glove and, and you're looking for uh, for some options, uh, if you're looking for something really versatile and uh, really warm, uh, and maybe you want something that you don't need to last your whole life, but five seasons, three seasons, something like that, the high camp might be for you. Uh, at any rate, I would definitely recommend checking out a three-finger glove of some sort. Uh, I am a three-finger fan now for sure after trying this high camp glove. And the fact that it also comes with a liner, uh, that's a big benefit of, of this high camp uh, series from OR. Uh, if you're looking for something with ultimate dexterity and the highest quality materials, something that will last a lifetime, I have no concerns about the durability of this guy. Uh, the Boundary Ridge from Mountain Hardware might be for you. Uh, it's a warm glove and uh, about the warmest you can get for a five finger glove. has good dexterity. Uh, if you can get the fit right, it's super comfortable. Um, there are some limitations in terms of flexing your fingers. Um, but if you're not a skier or if you don't carry trekking poles 24 hours a day, that might not be a big issue for you. Um, this will last you a long time and is going to be very warm and very waterproof. Um, and speaking of warm and waterproof, if you're climbing to the top of the world, the ultimate is probably for you. Um, I think I'm going to take this in my pack. Honestly, it is almost like an emergency glove, just because I know I will never get cold wearing these gloves. Um, they're really warm, and uh, they come with the added kind of benefit of having two gloves in one if you're at you know, you're at camp for the night and you don't need the full glove, you're just chilling. You can wear this glove, this liner around um, to stay warm. Or if you're out there on summit day, you can wear both of these together. Obviously, I didn't mention, but with the with this mitt, you're definitely losing the dexterity that you would get from either of these guys. But what you're losing in dexterity, you're, you're gaining in warmth for sure. Um, so yeah, three, three great gloves. Each have their own pluses and minuses. Um, just figuring out which uh, condition or situation works best for you and which glove might work best for you. Um, if you have any questions about any of these gloves or any of the things I've, I've talked about in this video, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the time. Thanks for watching.